What's up YouTube, Jeff Beck again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a look and overview at the official Android Oreo update for the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. Now this is only for the Snapdragon US carrier variants 950 and 955U. I'll go ahead and show you guys really quick the build number. If we go in here, you guys will see that the build number for this particular one is ending in CRA1. We know this is not a beta build because it doesn't have the Z in there. I have reviewed the beta build and show you guys all the new features coming in Android Oreo for your Galaxy S8. I'll drop the links to those videos below if you want to check them out. This is a build that leaked over on Reddit. It is the official uh, release Oreo OTA candidate. Now we don't know if this is gonna be the final build number, but this is obviously not a beta version, so it's gonna be a lot more stable. It's gonna have better battery life, etc. I did write a full guide on how to install this. Uh, there are a lot of different cases. If you're already running a certain NuGet build, you can just sideload the update. Otherwise, you need to use Samsung's Odin platform uh, in order to flash the update. So if you guys wanna check out my full guide, Hit the link below to gadgethacks.com where I do write up all these sorts of tutorials and I have a full guide there for you so you can follow it and get this official Android Oreo build on your Galaxy S8. Today I wanna to focus on a couple of new features that were added in the Android Oreo update, the official one. The first one, which a lot of websites have pointed out, is that you now have a Dolby Atmos toggle in your quick settings, you guys can see it right there. And if you tap on it, it brings up four options, auto, movie, music, and voice. Uh, now there's a couple of weird things going on with this. First of all, if you toggle it off, you'll notice that when you go back to the quick settings, it's on again. You can't toggle it off no matter what you do. Um, even if you go into details and you go into the full settings and toggle it off, as soon as you exit and go back up to the quick tiles, you're gonna notice that it's toggled back on. So you can't really do anything there. Also, whenever you change the mode, I've noticed that changing the mode doesn't actually really do anything. You guys can see I'm tapping here in the quick settings. Doesn't do anything. If you go into details and say you change it to movie mode and you plug in your headphones, Adobe Atmos is supposed to change basically the sound profile and output when using headphones, give you a, a fuller, richer sound depending on which of these options you select. If you change between say movie and music, it doesn't actually do anything in my experience. So I've been testing this out today and it doesn't seem to actually be working at all. So you just have a quick settings toggle there, but it doesn't appear that there's actually Dolby Atmos support. Now a couple of people over on XDA and also on Reddit have said that apparently according to Samsung UK um, in the beta program, they've said that this is actually not supposed to be in the final S8 Oreo update and that maybe this was a mistake in this uh, testing build. So this might get removed in the final build, um, but for there, for now it's there. This might be a preview of what we can expect to see on the Galaxy S9, the S9 Plus. Uh, now the other thing that's interesting in the final Oreo build here um, is that if you go into the lock screen and security, uh, I talked a lot about the color matching that you see in Android Oreo on the Samsung phones. You guys can actually see it right here. You can see that nice little purple on my Galaxy Note 8, how the clock matches to the wallpaper. It's very cool. And that feature is also present here if you go to lock screen security, clock and face widgets. But the one thing that you'll notice is the difference between the Galaxy S8 Plus running the official Oreo update and then my Note 8 running the Android Oreo beta is that the adaptive color option is now missing in the official S8 Oreo update. Um, now a lot of people thought that maybe they removed the adaptive color option, but if you actually look, at the Galaxy S8 Plus lock screen, you'll notice I still do have adaptive color. You can see that slight purple and blue hue to the clock, which matches my wallpaper. So what happened to the adaptive color? Well, they just moved where it was. If you go into clock style, and then you navigate to your lock screen, down here at the bottom, you'll see the little color option, top on that, and then right here, it automatically defaults to choosing the color matched, the adaptive color scheme to your wallpaper. And obviously you can change it to any of these other colors that you want. There's actually a custom color picker, but the adaptive icon right there, which you guys will see, if you tap on that, it's gonna change it to match your wallpaper. And it does a very nice job. I really like the feature, and they've now made that the default uh, in Android Oreo official build for the Galaxy S8. Uh, there really aren't any other major changes. I have noticed it's a lot more smooth. 
Um, this does not have official status on the Play Store. So a lot of people were asking about that. If you go into settings and you scroll down to the bottom, this is still uncertified because obviously this is probably not going to be the final build, uh, even though it is an official non-beta build. This is obviously a testing build. They're probably getting ready to push out that final update coming soon. So it does still have uncertified status. I've noticed it's a lot more smooth. It has better battery life than I was getting even on Nougat. I've been very impressed so far. It seems like it's good for a daily driver. Um, it just seems like maybe the Dolby Atmos thing was a mistake, which sucks because I know a lot of people were really psyched about this feature coming to the Galaxy S8, but we'll have to see what develops there. So again, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick look and overview. Not really anything else super new. If you guys do want to flash this update on your own Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, remember it's Snapdragon only. I'll drop the link below to my full tutorial so that you can do that. If you guys have any questions, run into any problems when following the tutorial, please hit me up in the comments. I'll be happy to help you out. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. The link's in the description. You guys can also find me at gadgethacks.com where I'm writing about Android every day. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this. I really appreciate you guys checking out the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.